Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom as well as the DJI Goggles Race Edition and specifically the new firmware that released for the Mavic 2 models earlier this week as well as some issues people have been having with the DJI Goggles Race Edition when trying to use it with the Mavic 2. I get on to the goggles the first thing we're going to talk about is the new firmware this is version 1.00.0400 and this brings a number of small fixes as well as a new feature people have been waiting for since release the big one is that it now allows support for dual remote controllers when using the Mavic 2 now as of today that only supports using the Mavic 2 remote controllers and the smart remote controller DJI did originally say that the original Mavic Pro remote would be compatible however as of today this update only allows it to work with the original Mavic 2 remote as well as the Smart RC as well. Now before this will work you will also need the latest Go app as well. The iOS version of that released earlier this week and the Android version as well as the Smart RC version should be coming very very shortly. The version you're going to need is version 4.3.16 onwards and as I've said you can get that now on iOS however Android is running a little bit behind. Also in this update DJI fixed some issues that were happening on smart shots and the other big one people were waiting for is the fix for the EXIF data in GPS on still images and it appears that has now been resolved as well. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the DJI Goggles Race Edition and specifically if you're having signal issues when trying to use it with the Mavic 2 Pro. Now early on when these two released and they were used together people were saying that they weren't able to get the same range when using their goggles with the Mavic 2 Pro as they were with their original Mavic Pro. Now there has been a bit of talk around this and DJI seem to have helped this in latest firmware so as long as your goggles are on the latest firmware and your Mavic 2 is on the latest firmware it should be fine however if you are still finding that you are not able to get any form of decent range using the goggles and the signal is dropping off within a few hundred meters it is actually possible that there's a hardware fault with the goggles DJI have quietly said that if you are still having this issue after updating the firmware and you have made sure that it is the same in both 5 gigs mode as well as 2.4 gig mode you should send your goggles in for repair now this is the first time they've actually said this because up till now it's been pretty quiet and there's been no official information on this so what I would say is if you've got your goggles race edition and they're not working very well with your Mavic 2 Pro make sure both are on the latest firmware try it in both the 5 gig band as well as the 2.4 gig band make sure you also have the antenna fitted on the top as well and if you are still having issues open a ticket send them in to DJI and get them repaired there has been some comments and some reports coming back that when people have done this the replaced goggles work absolutely fine so it is well worth doing it if you are having problems and don't continue to suffer with it because you think it is the way it's meant to be you should get virtually the same range between the goggles as you do the remote controller itself that's pretty much it for this video really as I've said the new update works with the standard RC as well as the smart RC and the new go app for that should be coming very shortly if you like what you see please do subscribe to the channel there's links to all of what you see in front of me in the description of this video and I will do another one again soon and that is it for this video if you've liked what you've seen please do check out some of the other videos we have on the channel as I've mentioned we do have over 150 of them also please don't forget to subscribe by clicking that button in the bottom right hand corner of the video you'll get updates and please do check out the links in the description if you're going to buy any products that's it thank you for watching and I'll do another video again soon